Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the most essential classes in Juice called the component class. The component class is the class that uh, is used to build essentially anything visual in Juice. So Juice has loads of different widgets like sliders, uh, boxes, buttons, and so on to help you build your app. And all of those derive from the component class. And I'm going to show you some of the very basics of that class right now. So what we'll do is we'll create a new project here. So I will just go up here to file and new. And now we have our project creator and I'm just going to create a UI application since we're not making any sound. And I will call this project sample. I can hit create project down here in the bottom right hand corner. And I will just save this to my desktop. And now I want to open this up in Xcode. So I will hit the center button, save and open in IDE. And now I'm in Xcode with our project. So we have three files here. We have the main.cpp and the main.cpp, I don't really mess with this a whole lot. Uh, this you can think of as your very base level juice application uh, source file. Okay, so I don't really mess with this a whole lot. Uh, the one that you want to start with is the main component. Okay, so here we are in our header file and we can see that we have this class that's called main component and we see that it inherits from juice component, the component class. So what I like to do is I like to show people where they can actually find all this documentation because I could call out loads of different methods and loads of different things you can do. But the best place to find these things just to show you where it all comes from is actually from the juice doc documentation. And I'll link you to where you find the actual juice uh, documentation online. And as you can see, here we are, we have this component class and then it has loads. So this is a very, very big class here. We have loads of different uh, methods and functions that we could call from it. A lot of them are finding screen position, detecting if the mouse is over a component, things like that. But I'll just show you a few of the basics here. So if we just minimize this, so if we go into our main component.cpp, now since this is a component class, right, then what we could do is we can actually call component methods on this class. So uh, one of these, the very basic one is set size. So if I just build this here very quickly, then what we'll see is that we will actually get a window that uh, is our main component window. So this is kind of the background, so to speak, of our application. And so it's building now, it'll pop up here in a second. And so here we have our main window and we see that uh, we have this draw text method here where it says hello world and we see hello world there. Okay, we see that we have the justifi justification to centered. And I'll go through all of this in just a moment. So, so this is our main window and we have it set to a size of 600 by 400. So let's just change the size of this, right? So we have uh, the width of 600 by the height of 400. And let's just cut it in half and just say 300 by 200. And we'll build this again. And now we see that we have a smaller window, right? So that's one of the things that you would probably do in the juice application is setting the window size. And then you have this method that's called paint. So paint, I think of as uh, what is happening in this component, this component that I'm, this component class that I'm working on right now. What's the color of the background? Do I want to have text on it? Do I want to have something uh, that's actually, uh, do, I, do I want to have it change colors when uh, I hover over the component, things like that. That kind of happens here in the paint method. Okay, and I'm going to show you just a few quick little tips, very basic tips here to help you get started. So you have the graphics class. Okay, so this G, we see that this comes from juice 
uh, Juice Graphics. So this is the Juice Graphics class, and let me show you what we have there. Once again, a very, very big class, okay? So there are loads of things that you can do here. And I'm just going to show you just a few, just a few of those, right? Some of the, some of the very basic ones. So we have the g.fill all. And if we go back into our documentation, let's just see what it says. Okay. So we go to fill all and we see here that we have a place where it says fills the context entire clip with a given color. So what I could do is I could change the color. So here we have it to this default kind of greenish color. And one convenient class that you can use to change the color is the what they call the colors class. So I'll just call on that now. So we got juice, then we'll type in colors. And what I could do is if I, uh, if I go in, I don't know if I can control click into this. So if you do a command click, you can go into the class itself. Okay, so this takes you into what the class, what's actually inside this class and shows you what methods that you can actually call on it. So I just command click and I click jump to definition. And if I command click in there, you'll see that there are loads of colors that I can call here. So we've got chocolate, we've got dark slate blue, loads of colors. Okay, so let's just try one. So we'll do juice, colors, and then let's do green, yellow. And then I will just compile this again. And now we have a green yellow background, right? And let's just change it to something a little bit darker. So let's just change it to green, right? And then you have this set font method, which is where we can set the size of our text. So right now it's at 16. So let's just make it 32. And we will just do this. And now we see that our text has gotten bigger. And we have set color, so we could change the color of the text itself. So what happens is that you set the color and then you perform an action with that color. So what I will do is I'll just set this to red and now I'll build again. And we see that our text has turned red like so. Okay, so uh, then we have our draw text method and a lot of these things you will learn over time just through working with juice and just experimentation but let's just take something like justification right so it says juice justification centered what i could do is i could command click into this again so i just scroll down and you'll see a lot of stuff that if you're if you're first starting out you probably won't really understand a lot of this stuff to begin with um, but that's the reason why it's in here. It's in here so you don't have to initially really deal with this difficult stuff. Okay, but if it's helpful to look in the Juice documentation, so try to try to look in and dig in there, and eventually some of these things will start to make sense. Uh, one of those things is we can see that we have this flags enum where it will say, and they're great at commenting the code as well. So we have indicates that the item should be aligned against the left edge of the available space. So what I could do is I could change that centered to left. And we will see that when we do that, that we will now have the text over to the left. Okay, so that is the basics of that. So uh, when you're creating a component class, typically you'll have three main methods that you're working with. Okay, so you have the constructor, which is what initializes once when you first build uh, your application. So this is something that happens one time on construction of the, uh, of the actual class. And so we see that it sets the size 
to 600, 300, and it just has to do that once. It doesn't have to do that multiple times, right? So that's why that's happening in the constructor because it's just an initialization, okay? Now, paint is something that's actually happening again and again, uh, and what it's doing is, is continuously painting the graphics, uh, the background green, and it's continuously drawing text uh, on, um, on the screen. Okay. And if you want something to happen, some sort of action to happen, like when your mouse hovers, uh, the color changes to red, things like that, I'll show you how to do that a little bit further down the road. Then you have this resized method. So what you can do is you can actually, uh, you, you actually have kind of your main component. So this, so this component that we're in now is called the main component. And let's say that we wanted to start drawing sliders or buttons in here. Uh, those will be called child components. So there are other components that sit inside this main component. So the main component can be thought of as what we would call the parent component or the top level component. Uh, and then you can create other components. And then what we could do is we could sit them within this main window. And the place that we do that is resized. So that's what I'll show you in the next tutorial is how you can actually create other components that will actually sit inside of your main component. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Those are just some basics of the Juice Component class. Be sure to check out the documentation to see other methods that you can actually call and go and try to experiment with some of those and you'll get to know the class a lot better. And if you enjoyed this, then like and subscribe and I will see you next time.